The Way of the Cross, Eighth Station. Jesus speaks to the daughters of Jerusalem. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Lord, thou had the comfort of Veronica's gesture and the priceless, though heart-rending, consolation of thy mother. Also at this step, other women approach thee. They weep, moan, and pity thee. What were the names of these good women? The gospel does not say. How did the soldiers and the mob that martyred thee treat them? Again, the gospel is silent. But had they spoken today's language, they would have jeered certainly. Oh, those pious churchgoers. Pious churchgoers. How often is this said harshly and scornfully of those good women who faithfully and consistently are at the foot of the often abandoned altars and religious ceremonies. Without them, many churches would be empty. Rain or shine, early morning or evening, one finds those church-going women walking hurriedly to church since they have work or house duties to return to. They pray, and their prayers are so pleasing that many sinful cities would be much unhappier were it not for those prayers. Granted, there may be excess, abuse, and misunderstanding about many things, but why generalize the rule? Why look only at the stains without seeing the light of this persevering and inextinguishable piety? See how much gold there is in this residue. After contemplating these souls and hearing so-called well-educated criticism of such simple piety, we feel like saying, Lord, see how much residue there is in this gold. This true, genuine, and sincere piety was already at the foot of the cross, weeping and moaning. Lord, accept and bless these prayers that were uttered throughout thy passion. Thou gave these pious women their vocation. Weep. Their great vocation is to weep for the chastisements that just and innocent men suffer as a result of collective sins. O Lord, may this weeping, inspired by Thee, fill the churches with truly pious and blessed people. Lord, conquer and attract to Thee all souls by the prayers, example, and words of untiring faithful souls. Our Father, Hail Mary, Glory be. Have mercy on us, Lord. Have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen.